Well, hello everybody, Dave here, and we're going to do a quick little derivation on a specific type of problem that you see in fluid dynamics a lot, which is a water tank with a water flow coming out of some hole on the side. There is this law known as Torricelli's law, which could be very useful in a situation like this. So we start off with our typical diagram of a water tank, and we have this vessel filled with water, and there's a hole at some height above the bottom, which we've labeled as Y1, and we are going to try and find out what the speed of the water is leaving that hole. There is some level of water which is above that hole at a distance of y2 above the bottom as well. Now there is a major assumption that we have to make and it relates to the velocity of the water as it drops down from the top. You can see that we've quoted the continuity equation and if we make the assumption that a2 is much much larger than a1 looking at the continuity equation that essentially makes v1 equal to zero and so the big assumption that you make in order to derive Torricelli's theorem is that the water level at the top is dropping exceptionally slow when compared to the water flow out of the hole so much so that we assume it to be zero the second statement that we need to make that is vital is the pressure on the outside of the vessel itself we have a pressure above the top of the water which we've labeled as P naught and we have a pressure outside of the hole which we've also labeled as P naught because these two pressures are equivalent to each other when we go and apply it to Bernoulli's equation these two will cancel each other out so looking at Bernoulli's equation we can see that we've filled in the information that we have but there's a couple of things that will now cancel we know that P1 is equal to P2 so those two cancel and because we're making the assumption that the velocity of the top water flowing down is essentially zero then the kinetic energy associated with that flow is also equal to zero and now we get rho GH1 is equal to rho GH2 plus one half rho V2 squared where that is the kinetic energy of the water flowing out of the small hole now if we solve this for V and we plug in our values for Y2 and Y1 you can see that we end up with the square root of 2G times Y1 minus Y2 but if you can see from our diagram Y1 minus Y2 is simply just the height that the water level is above the hole and we end up with this equation of V2 is equal to the square root of 2GH. So this is known as Torricelli's theorem or Torricelli's law and whenever you use this in some sort of practice problem or an assessment you're absolutely going to want to do one of two things either derive it outright because it shows understanding of the scenario in order for you to get there or if you're in a pinch you have to state it by name don't just simply write down that v2 is equal to the square root of 2gh and then solve the problem you're going to want to say in this scenario Torricelli's theorem or Torricelli's law applies therefore and then you can use the equation as it's given so that's a quick little derivation for you I hope that helps make sense of some of these water tank problems as you move forward best of luck to you